Morning, everybody. Do you ever have the power go out at where you live all the time? Gets really frustrating, doesn't it? Well, I've got a great solution. Come along and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Well, guys, this is the reason why I'm so excited today is this old bad boy finally come in. We have been waiting on this for a long time, quite a few months and uh, our Generac has finally arrived and it's being installed today. Now this is the first of two. Uh, this is, we're up at my dad's house and uh, this one's going into his. Still waiting on mine to come in, but on the road we live on, we get power outages all the time. Uh, we've been very blessed that we have got smaller generators that we can run parts of the house, but now, oh, and you have to manually go hook everything up. But from this point forward, this will be rigged into where it's all automatic, and this unit will be able to uh, run the entire house, and it, it'll be automatic. So, man, I'm excited, so check it out. We will, uh, the crew is here. Uh, this is something you don't do yourself um, unless you do this for a living. Uh, you definitely need to have an electrician uh, who knows how to do this kind of work because you're dealing with a lot of power and a lot of amps, and uh, you need to know what you're doing. So there's a crew coming in. They're, they're just getting here, so uh, hang on, and we will continue video in the process, and we'll walk you guys through from start to finish getting the Generac installed. Alright guys, Q is here and there's all their electrical crew and they're working on uh, hooking up the Generac generator. Q, where are we at in the, fa in the stage of this right now? Well, right now we took the uh, service that was going into the house out on the meter and we get ready to set the transfer switch up so that we can run the new wire to the transfer switch, so the transfer, transfer switch to the breaker box in the house and the transfer switch to the generator. Sounds cool. And if you can, real quick, explain to everybody what the transfer switch does. The transfer switch is what makes it transfer from the utility power to the generator power when the power goes out. And it does that automatic, right? It has a sensor in it, and when it senses the outside line's gone away, it, it just kicks on, right? First class all the way, right? Right. Thank you, man. Thank you, Q. Q, we saw all the stuff that was going on outside with putting in the transfer switch. What are you doing here on the inside on the main breaker box? Well, on the main breaker box, I'm going from the transfer switch now back to your panel to bring your power into the house, back into the house. Okay. Uh, that looks like some pretty heavy gauge wire. What size are you running there? It's a two amp, 200 amp service, so this is a four out aluminum. Gotcha. Coming back on the house. All right. All right. Q, while you're putting the final cover on, tell everybody a little bit about you, you and your company, and what all you do, man. Well, right here, up Q 
and that's my business partner Toby. The one that's running around the corner. <laughs> I got him on video running, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're River District Electrical, and we do residential and commercial uh, electrical work around the Danville, Martinsville, uh, Chatham, Pennsylvania County area. Uh, How long you been doing it? We, we got started May of 2018. Wow. Yep. And just keeps getting busier and busier and growing and busy, trying to grow every day. Well, that is absolutely awesome, man. Well, dude, we appreciate so much you coming and putting this in for us today. And just to let everybody know, this is just phase one. We still got to do bring in the gas tank, get the propane cooked up, and then Q, you'll come back and walk us through what you'll do when you come back. When we come back, we'll program the, the um, generator to the day that it will do the test. The day and time that it'll do the test, we will connect it to the Wi Fi. Uh, and we'll start it up to make sure that everything goes when the power goes out. Right, and this generator is big enough, it'll run the entire house. 22K, 24. Oh, this is 24? This is 24K. So this is a whole home generator that when the power goes out, this homeowner, your daddy, will not have a problem. 12 seconds, is it the 12 or 15 seconds after the power goes out, his power will come back on. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> and he don't and he don't have to lift a finger. <laughs> he don't have to lift a finger. Uh, mine won't come on yet, but dude, you do in my house here shortly when my generator comes in. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Well, thank good. you, Q. Thank you. Appreciate it, bud. Right. And one more high five right here. There we go. Cool deal. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. It is all done and installed. And this is like we said, phase one complete. So everything is done now with the exception of the propane tank. We want to get a 500 gallon in-ground tank uh, here, but we can't, there's none available right now. So what we might end up doing is putting an 250 above ground right here, just set it here temporarily. So that is the next phase is to have a tank brought in, have it filled, have it connected, and then Q will come back and do the testing as he talked about earlier. But as you can see, great job so far. Can't wait to get this finished up.